I'm pretty shocked that Terrence Howard is openly confessing this, that this is the power behind what he does as an entertainer, behind what he does as an actor. And this is going to really, this is going to have to concern a lot of you because we need to understand that when we consume content, when we're watching movies and listening to music, it's not merely entertainment. Could we be opening up a door to being influenced by the demonic? I'm going to share with you my thoughts after he shares explicitly in this interview that the source of what he's doing behind all of the content he's creating and the, and the work that he's a part of is not just him you know, relying on his own human giftedness. And it's not him tapping into the power of the Holy Spirit. He's openly confessing that there is a demonic power that he taps into to do what he does that entertains the world over. Listen to what he has to say in this interview here. Okay. What was that preparation like preparing? Because I've heard you say a couple of things in other interviews. And I want to ask you about that because I, I, I did some acting and studying mm -hmm. acting. And you said something I've never really heard a lot of actors say about the process of acting. And you said that sometimes when you walk off, they walk off with your clothes. Yeah. Can you explain that? Well, as an actor, as um, you're, you're more like a medium. Mm -hmm. You know, when you really get there, you you know, you go into this zone and you really divorce yourself of who you are, mm -hmm. and you just become a garment that something else puts on. Now, right. a lot of people sit up. Yo, sus. Sus, what's a medium? A medium is somebody who is is literally engaging with spirits. They think they're engaging with the dead. They think they're engaging with lost relatives and ancestors and things like that. And, you know, people pay them to en engage with loved ones that have passed away. These, the Bible would call familiar spirits. That's who these people are actually engaging with. They're not engaging with your your grandpappy or your great 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 aunt. That's not who they're engaging with. They're engaging with familiar spirits and they are opening themselves up to being controlled by these spirits. And that's obviously going to lead to their own destruction, but that's also going to lead people to the destruction that people who follow these people to their own destruction. But he's openly saying that in order to be an effective actor in Hollywood, you have to perform like a medium. You have to be willing to open yourself up to these spirits and allow them to put you on like a garment. What? Dude. A garment that something else puts on. Now, right. a lot of people sit up there and do impersonations of other folks, mm -hmm. you know, instead of allowing that spirit, you know, but I sit up and I'll pray for a little bit and go in a dark place, um, mm -hmm. go in the bathroom, turn off the lights, look in the mirror. Um, we'll have the light on at first and then after one minute, turn the light off and you know, and search until you find, see your own glow, your own aura, mm -hmm. and then you watch it change. Wow. And it's a... Yo, dog, dog, this is this is nuts, man. Yo, people be thinking this is just a game. When you do like, you know, as a kid, I don't know if you guys did this when in school. I never did it, but I, I was like too freaked out to do this. But in elementary school, I remember kids do these things like, you know, the Bloody Mary ritual in the bathroom or whatever, you turn off the lights and you just like, you know, look in the mirror and you do this sort of thing. And um, I, I grew up in a home, we didn't really like teach the supernatural, but my parents at least had enough of a religious upbringing where they were like, yo, don't mess with that stuff. That stuff is sus. They didn't use the word sus back then, but, um, but nevertheless, you do this stuff as a kid and you think it's just fun and games and now you have a grown man who's saying that this is essentially what he does before he takes the stage, before he gets in front of the camera to, to do his thing. He literally is saying, I'm opening myself up to spirits until I can see my own aura glow. Like, what? Yo, this is nuts. A scary this thing. is nuts. And we as people pay to have people like this openly demonize themselves it's not yeah. because you'll feel like some hands are on you wow. and you lose a little bit of control of what you're doing mm -hmm. but 
you know, if you stay with it, you know, you'll you'll be inhabited by mm-hmm. something, and then you walk out, and the character wow. with you, and you got to know how to to say goodbye to it. Right. If you really want to yeah, get there, right? You know, yeah. A lot of people. If you really want to be successful, it's so crazy, man. Like when people people like freak out about you know people talking about the Illuminati and these these you know rituals happening behind closed doors and et cetera. Like, is that really far fetched when you have actors who are openly saying that in order for them to actually perform the way that they perform, they must give themselves over to these spirits. My man, look at yo, that wig be crazy too. Like that wig. I'm not saying if you wear a wig that you got a spirit, but if you can be dressing like that, it's a telltale sign that you are operating from a different dimension, my brother. People are afraid, mm-hmm. you know, to, to empty themselves and be filled up with something else. Mm-hmm. But, you know, as an actor, you're an emotional prostitute. Wow. You know, you put on whatever you need for the job. Mm-hmm. You put on, you're turning a trick. You're turning an emotional trick. Wow. And it's no nothing yeah. more glorious yeah. than that. Okay. So how do you balance the <laughs> separation gosh, of who you really are? Or are they similar? No, no, no. <laughs> you, you, I mean, there's, you got to remember, we've been here since the very beginning. Mm-hmm. You know, there, and there is no good or bad. Mm-hmm. It's just wrong. Full out wrong. I'll show you. I'll show you in a second. Don't believe the lie that it's like it's all just neutral and you're in total control and you can you can enter have this thing enter you and you can be controlled by this thing and then you can just say you know I'm done I'm gonna hit control alt delete I'm gonna hit backspace command Z undo I don't I can I can fully control how much access this thing has to my life No you cannot You absolutely cannot unless you are covered in the blood of Jesus unless you're surrendered to the power of the Holy Spirit you have no authority over these spirits at all at all that's one of the biggest distinctions between the New Testament of the Bible and the Old Testament in the Old Testament you don't see people having authority over spirits in the New Testament Jesus comes on the scene the Son of God he has full authority over the demonic and then he gives that authority to believers Believers, people who are submitted to his power. Don't believe the lie, man. The devil would love to make you think that you have the upper hand over him. Because as long as you think that, you will give him as much authority as you think that he can handle in your life. And you have no idea that you are making a legal agreement with that spirit. And that spirit is going to torment you. He, he, He might... You might get some worldly success for a little bit, but you have no idea the torment that you're opening up yourself to by by giving way to those things. It's your perspective that you're sitting from. Is it beneficial for everyone around okay. or is it not? There's something that has to build up and there's something that needs to tear it down. Mm-hmm. You know, what we call the tearing of it down, we call that, we call it evil or bad, mm-hmm. but that's the process of magnetism mm-hmm. or radiation. Radiation tears apart that which was uh, Lord, concentrically brought together through mm-hmm. electric through electric potential mm-hmm. and electric force. Electricity mm-hmm. is always seeking a higher pressure condition, trying to get to the center of the apex, whereas magnetism is she's, spinning. I feel like she's nodding her head like, I have no idea what he's talking about now. He's getting into like new age, metaphysics. Southwestern trying to get out, and but the magnetism is necessary because unless it, it broke apart that which was connected together, you would never have any new material to rebuild again and that's the breathing in and the breathing out of universal purpose now so at the end of the day since the creator made all things Mm -hmm. and everything came from the creator there is nothing that is weaving in a little bit of truth y'all weaving in a little bit of truth bad except what you how you are perceiving it and whether it's beneficial to everyone around you because something needs to tear things apart and if you want to be on the building side of it Mm -hmm. then you have a sustainable relationship with the universe because the universe loves to rebuild but it also needs to tear apart at the don't 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 go down that route i'm telling you this man as somebody who was deep in the new age for a while you're not worshiping the universe, man. The universe is not God. The universe was created by God. God is the creator. He stands outside of all of creation and he is the one who architected the universe. So 
All science belongs to him. All physics belong to him. All metaphysics, all energy, all that sort of stuff. But for you and I to think that we can manipulate this stuff and think that we can bend it to our own will for our own purposes and there's nothing good or bad about it. It just is. That is a lie. That is demonic. That's exactly what the devil would want you and me to believe. In fact, I think of in the Garden of Eden when God created the garden. He created everything to be perfect. He created you and me as people to dwell with him. And in this per, this perfect universe, the devil came along and he deceived Adam and Eve, the first two people created. He deceived them with this lie that if they ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, that they would be like God. And essentially what the devil was saying was, God is telling you that to eat this thing is a bad thing, but I'm telling you if you eat this thing, there's nothing bad about it. It's going to make you like God. It like neutralizes this idea that there's the, there's a difference between good and evil. But that is, I mean, that's that relative truth theory. My truth is my truth. Your truth is your truth. No one's right or wrong. It just is. That is demonic. That is a hundred percent demonic. I want to show you an example in scripture of how people, you, they, people operated this same exact way. In the Bible, Daniel chapter one, this is Daniel and and the Hebrew boys were taken captive from Babylon or taken captive from Israel to Babylon to serve underneath a pagan king who worshiped false gods. Okay. So if there were spirits running around a government system, this was the place. And there's another place where I would be convinced that a similar thing is happening in Washington, D.C., That's not what we're talking about today. I want to show you here, though, in Daniel chapter 1. Look at this. Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, these Hebrew boys who are undefiled before the Lord, they they continue to worship God steadfastly. It says in verse 20, chapter 1, verse 20, in all matters of wisdom and understanding about which the king examined them, he, the king, found them 10 times better than all of the what? All of the magicians and astrologers, other translations say mediums, who are all in his realm. So basically, these young guys are serving a pagan king, and they're serving amongst these other mediums and astrologers and and soothsayers and mediums and magicians. And these guys, these young men, let me, let me tell you this, man. These young men are outperforming everybody else. Don't believe the lie that in order to get ahead, that's exactly what Terrence Howard is saying here. He's saying in order to get ahead in Hollywood, in your career, you need to be willing to give yourself up to these, to these spirits. And what we see in scripture here is when you surrender to one spirit, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of excellence, the spirit of wisdom that created the cosmos, the, the world, the devil, the systems around us cannot hold a candle to the competency that you can carry as a Holy Spirit-filled believer. Can I get an amen from somebody in the comments right now? It's time that the church recognizes, man, we got to stop being afraid of this stuff. We got to be, stop being afraid of people that are operating in this power. We need to understand that we are the head and not the tail. The devil is underneath our feet, but we also need to be careful because this stuff is real. I love this picture. This is a picture of this practice called automatic writing. And here, I'm like losing it. Here we go. This picture is a representation of this process called automatic writing. This is a, a this is a demonic occultic practice that basically you're allowing yourself to be filled up with these familiar spirits, these demonic spirits, not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit who will lead you in all truth. And basically, you're giving yourself over to these spirits, and these spirits will begin writing through you. They'll begin performing through you. This is literally what people in Hollywood are doing today. And the end of this road is destruction. This is what it says in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 31. Give no regard. This is what the Holy. This is what God um, says by the power of the Holy Spirit. Give no regard to mediums and familiar spirits. Don't listen to them. Don't pay to get their counsel. Don't seek them out. Do not be entertained by these things. Do not seek after them to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Here's what the Bible is clearly saying. If you think that you can listen to whatever you want, if you think you can listen to whatever music you want, watch whatever videos 
you want, whatever TV shows and movies, and it is not going to have an effect on you. You, you and I are deceived. And here's what's amazing. You have the Holy Spirit as a believer. The Bible says that you have the ability to allow the peace of God to rule in your heart and to lead you. So you'll know your spirit will sense when it's being defiled. Your spirit will sense when you're being taken down a path that leads to depression and sorrow or fear or selfishness or lust. Your spirit or anger, your spirit will feel it and the Holy Spirit will check you and will say, whoa, 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 pump the brakes. Do not keep consuming this thing. Do not keep going down this path. If you do, you will defile yourself. You will defile yourself by engaging with this stuff. And you might think, well, I'm I'm, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm covered in the blood. Yes, you are. But that means that you also need to operate from a level of holiness. Do not give the devil a foothold in your life. Do not open a door to him. And you might not think that what you're watching and what you're listening to there's, you know, there's anything about it, but when the people who are creating this stuff have opened themselves up to these spirits, they become a medium or they become a channel, a channel. They become a literal channel for that spirit to come in them and through them and affect you and me. Okay. This is not a legalistic conversation, man. I'm not saying you, like if you're walking through a restaurant or walking through a mall or you're at a wedding and they play that sort of music that you need to like just leave that place. You are the head and not the tail. All I'm telling you to do is you and I need to be people that understand the spiritual war at play. We got to be people that are filled up with the Holy Ghost. We got to be people that are meditating on the word of God day and night. Armored up, man. We got to we can't leave the house without putting the armor of God on us every single day. Because the devil is trying to do whatever he can to get into the minds especially of believers. Because if he can dismantle us and our thought process and make us divorce ourselves from the mind of Christ that we freely have in him, He's going to have the upper hand on us, and he should not. You and I should be the leaders in culture, just like Daniel, okay? I mean, the game is rigged in our favor. The game is rigged in our favor, man. We have complete authority over the devil, but in order to remain in that place of authority, we cannot be entertained by him. We got to stand fast, be undefiled before God, And then this, I believe in Jesus name that this will be the testimony for everybody watching this and listening to this, whether you're in the entertainment industry or you're in corporate America or you're a stay at home mom, or you have a side hustle or you do Uber eats or whatever it is that you will be the most successful compared to other people around you who are not submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Verse 20 again, and in all matters of wisdom and understanding about which the king examined them, he found them 10 times better than all the magicians and astrologers who were in all of his realm. Thank you, Lord, that this is the promise for us. We don't need to be giving ourselves over to this demonic junk. We submit ourselves to your Holy Spirit, and we know that when we do, You are the source of excellence. You are the source of competency. You are the source of fruitfulness and prosperity and wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I love it, man. The more that the devil overplays his hand in the culture, the more we got stuff uh, that we can talk about and uh, stick it in his face and reveal the glory of God in every glowing screen. And your help by subscribing to this channel makes a really big difference for that. So subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And if you're in a place where you don't know where you stay in your relationship with God, maybe you've dabbled in the occult, maybe you've dabbled in seeking out these spirits and you're like, I know that this thing is tormenting me. I got shadows following me. I feel these. I feel a presence around me all the time uh, and I wanna be forgiven of my sin. I wanna be cleansed. I got another video for you, you gotta watch. Click the video that you'll see on your screen about whether you're going to spend eternity in heaven or hell. God wants to set you free, but you got to stop going down that path, which leads to destruction following the devil. You got to turn to God. Click that video to to watch it. It'll be the most important video you ever watch. And again, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.